Canada is quickly turning into an artificial intelligence hub. It's not just money flowing into the sector. Human capital is also abundant. Some of the top academics in the field are right here in Canada. Well, today, that AI revolution took a big step forward. Next AI is the machine learning arm of Next Canada, a national nonprofit charity with a goal to increase national prosperity through innovation and entrepreneurship. Well, today, Next AI announced partnerships with several leading Canadian companies. And the idea is to attract talented teams from around the world to all that Canada has to offer in the realm of artificial intelligence. Participants will receive $200,000 in funding and access to technology and mentorship from top academics working in the field. Next AI has clinched sponsorship deals with industry heavyweights like IBM Canada, Google and NVIDIA. They'll kick in millions of dollars in equipment and resources. Anthony Lacabera is co-chair of Next and the chairman of Global Live. And if I've got this right, the idea here is to take it from research and academia and try to find ways of commercializing this. Why? Right on, Peter. This is all about getting some commercial, early commercial success for all this research that's been going on. And people, Canada has been quietly a leader in AI right. for decades. The Canadian Institute for Advanced Research and the National Science and Engineering Research Council have been funding AI research for decades. And what's come out of that? Canada has ended up having world leading researchers in AI. And now what Next AI is all about is commercializing that research, solving real problems using right. real technology today. And I mean, what is the risk? If we, if we continue to be great academic leaders, do we lose that edge because we're so far ahead of everybody else right now? What's we, have a, we have an edge today. We've got to solidify that by commercializing the research that we have done. And I think we certainly run the risk of falling behind. This wave of disruption coming from AI is happening globally. And big corporations around the world are embracing it. And it's great to see Canadian business leaders like RBC and Magna, Scotia, right. all BDC, all embracing uh, Next AI as a platform to commercialize. So, how does this this particular program work? A, a company has an idea, they come and they pitch you. What happens then? Well, what's unique about us is that we're we're actually curating the teams. So, right. a lot of incubators and accelerators just you you apply. If you get accepted, you're in, and your team is as it is. Sure. What we're doing at Next AI is, is helping form the teams. So we get really strong technical proficiency in right. AI, coupled with real business leadership, business experience, entrepreneurship. And that really increases the, the probability that there's going to be a successful launch. We then seed fund, and seed fund a lot of money, right. $200,000 for each venture as they hit milestones. They get $50,000 up front, they hit milestones, they get $200,000 by the end. And then what we're going to do is use our networks. We've got great mentors and advisors. Right. We've got a proven model at Next in entrepreneurial education, in mentorship, in, seed, in providing seed capital. We're going to leverage our networks and help those companies move into the bigger incubators, 111, Hatchery, right. uh, Mars, and actually help them get Siri, Creative Destruction Lab and help them get Series A funding. And I want to talk to you about who your, your potential pool of people are, but first, the, yours is a nonprofit, so you're an incubator, you give them money, you don't own a piece of that technology going forward, right? Next AI has economics in the companies, yes. and that's, we are a not-for-profit, so yeah. the idea is to actually build our ecosystem, right. we're going to continue to seek out corporate uh, sponsors and individuals that are excited about this ecosystem. You know, the AI market, this is a staggering statistic, is going to grow from $644 million last year globally to $37 billion by 2025. Okay, it's a 57 times That's faster. Astounding. It is going to change the world. And it goes, it, its tentacles are, are large and many. Who is your perfect person and, and perfect sort of company to apply for this? Well, there's many areas. It's going to transcend, AI is going to transcend all industries, but it's a great question. If you think about where Canada is a leader today in financial services, right. our banks are world leading banks, in automotive, in manufacturing with Magna and, and our automotive industry at large. We are in agriculture. Yeah. Canada is a leader in many of these areas already. And so what's exciting is to get the corporate leaders that are already operating in those verticals, embracing AI. Power Corp is another right. one embracing it. Embrace AI and actually invest in it and take advantage of creating new business models using these technologies that'll help them expand globally and help them become globally competitive long term. And the, the, the guys coming up and getting, the teams coming up and getting the seed funding, they don't need, you know, the, the, the background in, in, they don't need a PhD in AI, they need a good idea. Is that yeah, well, we, will, we certainly want the PhD sure. too. Sure, yeah, not we, to uh, yeah, all right, Exactly, <laughs> we, in fact, of, of the sort of 200 applicants in our first cohort, the vast majority have some significant technology. Really? 
technical AI. proficiency yeah. in AI. I bet. A lot of them even postdoctoral type researchers, wow. but on their own, they wouldn't necessarily be able to commercialize it, right. right? So we combine it with business leadership, business expertise, fundraising expertise, and networks to get them off the ground, and we're going to build them in Canada. Keep them in Canada is the challenge, right. and that's the next challenge we got to tackle. Well, listen, it's an exciting sort of time to be involved in this, and congratulations. It's really neat. Thank you, Peter. Right, Thank great you. Great to have you. Anthony Lacavera is the co-chair of Next and the chairman of Global Live. Now, we're just starting to tap the potential of artificial intelligence, especially as products begin to enter the market. Benjamin O'Leary just started selling software that will help with legal work. He's the CEO of Blue Jay Legal. So what, first, just before we even get into sort of how this all works, what is your company and, and how does it work? Well, th thanks for having me, Peter. Uh, Blue Jay Legal produces software that allows tax accountants and tax lawyers to predict years ahead of time what a court would actually say if confronted with a client's particular fact situation. So we really allow professionals to run legal simulations that, that will predict pretty accurately how a court would actually think about a new set of facts that may potentially come before it uh, many years into the future. I mean, I was talking to, to Anthony about, you know, it's, it's people with postdoctoral work and PhDs in, in, in AI and in computer science. You were teaching law when you, you, you began to get involved with this. How did you end up getting involved in artificial intelligence? That's right. I mean, uh, I, I hold the Osler Chair in Business Law at the University of Toronto, and I, I began to get very excited about what was happening on campus involving artificial intelligence and machine learning. The Department of Computer Science at the University of Toronto is a world-leading institution in deep learning, in AI, in, in, uh, in this field. And I got to thinking, I, I don't think the law profession is going to remain the same going forward for the next 30 years for my career and, and I really got excited about uh, the potential for developing tools using AI and machine learning uh, in law and so um, 30 years from now I could be uh, gripping my chalk tightly and, and watching from the sidelines as things change dramatically with artificial intelligence or I decided that you know maybe there'd be a chance to, to go in and, and be part of this, this big change. So Next AI announced this, this seed funding and mentoring program today. You went through the original Next program. Can you just tell us what programs like that, why they're so important for, for new and small businesses coming oh, up? Absolutely, absolutely crucial because uh, Tony it was absolutely right. Uh, one of the things about uh, you know new companies, new ideas is that it's very, very hard. Um, to commercialize if, if you're new to the game, if you don't know how to start a business and run a business, that early mentorship, that early education, those training wheels at the early stage of, uh, of a company's development are really, really important. It's very easy once, it's not very easy, it's, it's easier once you get a company going and you, and you hit some milestones and you get some traction um, and nothing begets success like success. So what's really fantastic about Next Canada and I include there the Next 36 program, the Next Founders program that I went through, and now Next AI, is that it's a nonprofit. They're, they're there to support entrepreneurs and small businesses that, that are just getting going, startups that are just getting going, contributing expertise, insight, um, guidance, and now capital with Next AI. And it, it's, it's really, really fantastic. It ups the chances of success of these enterprises probably by one or two orders of magnitude. It's really, really crucial and important. And, and that's one part of it. Keeping that edge that we have is, is this thing that everybody in this world keeps talking about. What would you like to see from levels of government to support this industry and make sure that we do keep that edge? Well, what I, what I would really love to see is, uh, is easier immigration into Canada. I think we already do a terrific job with facilitating uh, really fantastic people from the world over to come to Canada and help build uh, world-leading technology companies here. We ourselves uh, have uh, one member of our team who came from Australia to join Blue Jay Legal. Uh, he's been really fantastic and, and, and with that team member uh, along with us we've been able to create uh, 12 full-time positions and a number of uh, summer jobs for law students from the University of Toronto and so um, it's really an employment maker. It's an employment generator for Canadians to allow those really talented uh, individuals who are abroad to come to Canada and help build the companies of the future. All right, listen, we've got to leave it there, but thanks a lot. It's great to get your insight. Thank you. Benjamin O'Leary is the CEO of Blue Jay Legal.